Alright folks, we're back for a uh, interesting tutorial. Now this um, power plant placement is actually really important to get right because we want to get our barracks um, straight onto this section uh, immediately. Um, so I'm going to show you how to expand out to get um, Blue Tiberium straight away within a 4-ref uh, although it's probably better as a 5-ref. Uh, so I'm going to go with my standard scouting at the same time to keep myself uh, busy and to sort of reflect how you would normally do scouting. Now, um, okay, so this harvester, all that refinery goes down there. Send out your infantry straight away to anti-scout this section of the map. Um, now you want to make sure you're anti-scouting uh, your opponent as they come in as well, but you want to make sure this section is as much anti-scouted as uh, possible. I actually need to get that uh, all opened up as well. Because the next um, refinery that we put down is actually going to go here. Okay, good. This um, half is going to go straight to the uh, main patch and uh, we are still um, on good power. And you're going to notice something really annoying about these two harvesters and that is um, that they're not timed particularly well. So when I put down this next refinery to go to that blue patch, uh, we're going to have some issues. So... I know they are kind of timing up uh, reasonably well. Okay, good. So this one's immediately going to go for the uh, blue patch there. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is already doing a crossover, which is not what you want to do. This would already be in that uh, refinery by now if I had have managed them better and they weren't banking up. So uh, you should be able to get those two harvesters on the same refinery. We are now getting crossover, which delays the cash flow. So you want to make sure you manage the harvester immediately. And uh, there we go. Okay, good. So there is... Actually, we may not even need... Uh, we can sell those. Okay, so that's a uh, 4-ref, guys. Um, now, those two... Uh, obviously, you know, Blue Tiberium is going to be worth 50% more. So that extra distance being travelled is uh, really immaterial. Uh, however, the other benefit of doing this is that we actually do have... Um, this patch being preserved. So now we're getting that crossover again. Look what's happening here. This one's banking up and now this one's crossing over. So now we're getting a double crossover. So we want to avoid that and the way we're going to do that is by... Um, well, I mean, originally what we would have done is managing this one as well so that these two harvesters um, are sort of shearing that refinery. Uh, these three uh, refs... Sorry, these three harvesters can shear that... Um, those two refineries, but if we were managing things well, see, we're getting a crossover there, and that's where you just really want to make sure that the only time you try to do this kind of stuff is when your um, harvester management skills are really good. So, because you just don't want to get that kind of bank up. So, I'd be sending this one back straight away just so that they're perfectly timed, and now we are in, um, I guess, synchronization, and we can go for a uh, GDI War Factory. So yeah, that's um, that's how you do a uh, high efficient, uh, high cash flow um, build for a uh, four ref or a five ref. If you're going to take anything away from this video, it should be that, and that is getting those harvesters in synchronization. So you can get blue Tiberium, which gives you that 50% um, blue uh, cash flow uh, increase, and it also preserves the main patch. You can see. There's only three halves here. Um, you can't even put down a uh, fourth uh, refine. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, fourth refinery to get six. If you're just going to go for a defensive uh, Titan build in our top right before you go to tech, which is usually the case. See these harvesters again are perfectly synced up, which is great. Now your opponent should not have uh, this part of the match uh, map scouted out, which means that uh, they may not be aware of what you're doing. However, they are going to learn how you're playing, and um, so, okay. So what you want to do is uh, put up a, um, a SAM over here. Actually, I'll open that up. So we're going on to the more of the optional um, theory of what I've got to talk about today. Um, now let's say that you do have an opponent that comes through and completely obliterates this... Um, this expansion, then you can just send them on. And uh, if you were doing the five ref instead of a six, because there are now six harvesters, then you would have five uh, harvesters and all this extra Tiberium that hasn't been uh, consumed at this point. And you can then just go back to expanding out um, normally. 
Now I should have uh, put down a uh, silo because I wanted to show you expanding out of here. There's some issues um, to keep in mind. Jeez, putting my uh, infantry in the wrong spot. Okay, so let's um, let's continue the expansion. Let's pretend that um, our uh, expansion didn't get wiped out, and we're now at the point where we need to get to this expansion patch, or we can go the other way of expanding um, to that section on the left-hand side because there is a second uh, tip patch. Uh, there's only one way to expand into um, here, and it's through this ledge. There's another ledge on this side you can get through, but none of this section. Uh, there, you can go through here as well, but we're kind of... Uh, it's not a great idea to be doing it um, that way. Um, but I'll, I'll point out a couple of things, um, and that is that there's one thing you really want to avoid doing, and that is um, keeping these expansion refs that we had a moment ago, that as we said were wiped out by our opponent, because as soon as these harvesters finish, and uh, I'll finish uh, harvesting, and I'll point this out, they're going to go to this harvester, and that means they're going to drive all the way around the back. Um, so let's send this guy through as well. Watch this guy. He's going to be the first one, I think. One of these two. And he's going to drive all the way over there. And that's why you want to sell that straight away and um, send him... Well, it looks like he's... Yeah, so they're then going to go to the closest refinery, which is there. So as soon as you start expanding out to this Tiberium patch, you want to... Um, you want to make sure that your uh, those refineries are sold, otherwise your harvesters are going to drive quite far away. Um, there's another tip as well, um, harvesting. Um, as soon as you put down a refinery, you look for the closest harvester that might be driving by, which is what we did. And um, Oh, that's interesting. So I've just noticed that... Um, yeah, any... Um, any uh, harvester that we send here will actually go for this patch as well so maybe it's good to eradicate this entire patch or to put the um, yeah to put the harvester or the ref down here because that's tried to then go all the way around and start harvesting here which is obviously not what we want so let's just um, he's trying to get in there oh, there's another harvester okay Okay, so if we put this one in here, I'd say it's going to go for this piece of Tiberium here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so it looks like that one was closer. So I'd say if you want to avoid any of that stuff um, of it going around to this tip patch, either finish this tip patch off first or uh, put that refinery closer so you're getting onto this uh, tip patch. But yeah, you definitely want to sell the refineries that were here because otherwise these harvesters are going to... Um, drive all the way around to where this uh, refiner is and we'll see this in a moment again with this guy when he goes to this harvester also this uh, ref here which is um, kind of emulating what we would see if we had a uh, yeah, let's, um, we can even do it now replicate what was going on so that's how you make a um, efficient or high cash there we go so that's going driving all the way around because it is the closest um, refinery and if we sell it and then say stop and then go again it's going to go to uh, the closest one which is this one so that's going to give you all um, the cash flow benefits and also allow you to sort of uh, keep reharvesting that center Tiberium and preserve that patch while you're under attack in top right uh, and then you can go through your normal um, expansion you're not going to get to center if you're playing against a halfway capable opponent you're going to be expanding um, to uh, bottom right, which is what you'll see from the, the more experienced players because bottom left has enough of an advantage to, uh, usually if they're a good player, to uh, beat you to center. So you're going to um, continue expanding, you know, through this way to get to um, this expansion. Or you can even, um, I guess, try to drop off an MCV here and, or maybe there and expand up there for the uh, refineries, put up a SAM, and then continue to uh, bottom right. And hopefully that should sustain you long enough so that you can um, defeat your opponent. But really uh, counteracting that, that bottom left um, Tiberium patch with your own blue Tiberium patch is really crucial. Uh, as I said, the only expansion point is here, and I believe on this side and this side somewhere and also here you can use that same building technique to build along here and then put a uh, silo down there so you have a slight advantage um, so you can put up a refinery here and there to get straight away to that um, tip patch but uh, anyway guys hope you find it useful and i'll uh, catch you in the next video battle control offline